flowers are succulent, but they sure are I know. pretty. All right, listen. <laughs> Wood, charcoal, or propane, those are a few of your fuel options when you fire up your barbecue. But what do you really know about them? Do you do you know anything, Kim? No idea. Quick, five seconds. <laughs> All right, here to explain <laughs> the science of grilling is Dan Kohler. That's Hi, right. Dan. Guys, so, go ahead. We, I mean, we are in the, the heart of grilling season right yeah. now. Yeah. And I think a lot of us at home are kind of baffled by the options you've got at the hardware store, at the grocery store, all of the fuels you can use to grill. And today I want to help break that down so that you really know what you're using at home so you can impart the most flavor to your food. All right. All right well, what about wood? All right, let's start over here. I've got two kinds of wood here. Now, wood, I'm going to say, is one of our oldest fuel sources, right? You. Uh, build a campfire and you cook food over it, right? That's right. Yeah. what we think of as prehistoric man. And because of that, uh, wood imparts a ton of flavor. You can find wood very specifically. I've got pecan wood, I've got apple wood, you can get maple wood, and each one of these trees is gonna give you a different flavor because wood produces a ton of smoke. And smoke is basically mm -hmm. vaporized flavor. That's what I think it of. So I think good. of, I've got a smoker at home. I still haven't mastered it yet, but yeah, the, exactly. that smell. All the smoke is gonna come from wood. Now these days, most of us are not cooking purely over wood. We're either using charcoal, charcoal. or propane. Is charcoal better? Well, charcoal for me is my favorite option because it imparts a ton of flavor, plus yeah, it gives you a really incredible yeah. heat. With charcoal, you can get all the way up to 1,200 degrees, which is pretty impressive. Wow. Yeah. Grilling, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of the times, I think charcoal is kind of a mysterious material, right? We've got a lot of it out here, but how is it made? Charcoal's amazing. It is, it all starts as wood. It starts here. Hmm. We gather a bunch of logs, and we've got some pictures of this. See right there? All those logs are gathered, and they're made into a giant pyramid. It's covered with dirt. It's packed in so tightly that it's completely airtight. A hole is dug right in the center and they light a fire there. Now because there's very little oxygen allowed to the wood, it takes three days to burn. And in those three days, the wood doesn't actually consume itself. The fire is put out right before it turns to ash. And what you end up with is carbonized wood. And this can burn hotter, slower, and longer than regular wood. That's why we use charcoal. So that's all charcoal that's is, is carbonized that's wood. Yeah, that's yeah. what charcoal is. Is that the same kind of charcoal that we use to barbecue? All right, so yeah. we've got a lot of options these days when it comes to charcoal, so let me help you break it down. The first thing you're gonna see most everywhere, charcoal briquettes. Uh, uh, you know, Kingsford briquettes. These actually yeah. come from Henry Ford. That's why King's Ford briquettes. Oh, these come interesting. From, oh. Now, briquettes are actually made from charcoal that's made from the sawdust of wood instead of regular whole chunks of wood. It's bound together with some industrial fillers and starches, and a lot of times these days, some extra compounds to get that quick flame. This is so interesting. Moving on down, we've got mesquite charcoal. Now this you can see right here. These are whole pieces of wood. Remember in that picture you saw earlier, those whole logs were ignited in that uh, mound? This is what you get at the end of it. Now mesquite charcoal has a lot of those flavor compounds that we still have with regular wood. So if you wanna use this, you get some of that beautiful smoke, that t you know, tons of flavor, it's gonna burn low and slow. Moving on, we've got something now called Thai charcoal. And these you can see are bricks with a hole right through the center. Now these are compressed charcoal also made from sawdust, just like the briquettes, except these have no industrial filler. They are extruded at an incredibly high pressure, which means they are so dense that they burn very slowly and for a very long time. It's incredible for outdoor grilling. Is that sort of a pun? There's no filler and the hole in the middle? There's no filler here. Uh, <laughs> see what I'm saying? I got now my favorite kind of charcoal is also oh. called musical charcoal. Oh, wow. This that is... sounded like a Madonna song. Do that yeah, again. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do that again. Yeah. Which song, Mark? I could do it until like the end of the show and I wouldn't know what it's called. Okay. <laughs> like a prayer. Uh, <laughs> Japanese charcoal is also known as white charcoal. And this goes through an interesting process by which it's steamed, so it produces almost no smoke because they cook with this indoors in Japan. Oh, that's oh, so wow. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Right. So, How's um, that impossible? That's all right. strange. So let's talk about um, propane. Yeah. Because propane is something that is so easy to use, but... You and everybody's well, got the propane look, grill. It's easy to use and everyone's got it at home. Most of you either have a propane tank or you've got a natural gas line that you've plugged right up to your grill. Everyone knows yeah. what those look like right. at home, right? Here are the advantages to using propane. It's quick lighting, right? So it's so convenient. Charcoal takes some time. You've mm -hmm. got to build yeah. that heat up. With propane, you can get this going instantly. But Dan, the charcoal, the smell, the, 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 yeah. Yeah, the experience of I it. Know now the look, taste for me, for me, I love the flavor of charcoal, and you lose some of that when you move to propane. Yeah. Thankfully, these days, a lot of grills have some added baskets you can put between the flame charcoal. and the grill rack to throw in some wood chunks. So you actually get some of that smoky flavor along with your propane grill. Uh, but, and, but if you don't. 
you're not getting any sort of like flavory taste, right? You're not get you're not getting that smoky, fiery taste. But the great thing about propane is you can grill anytime you want, and and you can start that fire quickly. It gets up to 600 degrees fairly quickly, as opposed to reaching the 1200 degrees with this charcoal. It takes some time and consideration. Your preference. All right. When it comes to flavor, charcoal I, will always be yes, my favorite. Yeah. Always. But to be honest. If we're talking about convenience, propane, you have my heart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you can find Dan's heart and a lot more knowledge on his website um, about grilling and whatnot. Information is at the bottom of your screen, renegadekitchen.com. Stick around. We're talking about some <laughs> good flavor because I'm making my ribs and telling you the story behind him next. <laughs>